But the short story, for those that don't know, the financial system, incredible scam. Money has been allocated to those at the top of the pyramid. Those people are the ones that are allowed to print the money. In America, it's the Federal Reserve. Here, it's the Bank of England and the European Central Banks. These fraudsters are allowed to print money out of thin air, backed by nothing, backed by nothing. And they were given that power by our corrupt, greedy, pathetic so-called leaders, whether they're prime ministers or politicians, all of them traitors with the rarest of exceptions. They have given the power on behalf of us, who they supposedly speak for, for these tyrants to be able to print the money. They then loan the money. They then loan the money to the banks at interest. At interest. We pay interest to people who print money, which we could print ourselves debt free. And yet we allow them to do this. So they print the money and then they loan it to the banks at which we own the interest. And they've had this fraudulent system in existence for many, many hundreds of years now. And this system is inherently debt driven. The point of it is to indebt us so that we have to pay more and more taxes to pay off a debt that can't possibly be paid off. Because the amount of debt that is created from the money that is printed, there is not enough money in circulation to pay off the debt. So there will always be debt. There is no way to balance the budget. We will always be in debt. So while we're having these so-called austerity measures, being played out in front of us while education is becoming far too expensive for most working class people to be able to send their kids off to university, while our social services are being cut, systems are being privatized, and you're wondering how you're going to keep a roof over your head or a job and put food on the table for your family, we are paying debt. To who? This is the one question. The one question when they talk about the debt and the need to cut social services and increase your taxes. Why are we doing that? Because we're in debt. To who? Who do we owe the money to exactly? Do we ever think about that? Who do we owe the money to? I'll tell you who we owe the money to. The Rothschilds, the Oppenheimers, the filthy rich banksters that are running this system, that our corrupt prostitute politicians gave the power to these tyrants to do. You all have not worked hard enough. None of you have worked hard enough. None of you working class people out there have worked hard enough. You haven't worked hard enough and you owe the Rothschilds money. And they're taking away your social services and they're telling you you need to go fight a war. In Iran now. In Syria. And what do they do with the war? They make money off of us. Again. And they send our sons and daughters off to war. To kill innocent people. To rape them. To steal their land. And all the while with Hypocrisy doesn't even begin to explain us talking about freedom and democracy. It is a joke, and it mocks all of us. And the head of the snake is the financial system. And Henry Ford rightly said, it's a good thing that people don't understand the financial system, because if they did, there will probably be a revolution by the morning. And it's true. We owe money to the filthy rich. That's who we're in debt to. They could, they could say, we're going to wipe the debt clean. For me, that wouldn't be enough. Are you kidding me? You think you're going to get off that easy? For hundreds of years, you've been enslaving the people in your debt-driven system. And you think that you're just going to be able to wipe the slate clean and that's going to be it? Hell no. If you don't hang from a lamppost, you should consider yourself lucky for the scam that you have perpetrated on the people. And the thing is, is that they've got us all by this system. They control the money. It's not even paid for to them. They don't even need to print the money. They can simply go into a computer, type in a couple extra zeros in an account, and someone has got money. 